Hi guys, Linda here. It's time for 52 Tags Handmade. Um, it's Anne's Challenge, and this week I think it's Blanket Stitch. But I just wanted to get started. I want to go watch a movie, so I thought I'd start here. Um, a friend sent me these pieces of scrap uh, fabric that she was making a quilt for, I think it's a bird quilt, and it says like, um, bird music and soar and bird brains, all those kind of words on here. And then this is just like a, a gray with a little fleck in it. Oh, I just think it's really cool fabric. She has got the best taste in fabric. And I am so happy to get her scraps. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm going to do a running stitch to call this quilted. And then I'm going to do the blanket stitch. So let me just do a little running stitch in it. And when I do the blanket stitch, I'll probably go into the living room and watch a movie and just sit and stitch because... That is a great way to watch a movie. Okay, so I have this gray. I think I'll use that to do the running stitch. And I redid my, this is an old needle cozy. Um, I was watching Corey again, and she had shown this needle book that she made that was amazing. So I just um, added a few things. Like I put my needles all in order, and these came with some... Um, embroidery floss I think that I ordered and then the these are all the threaders from Felicia and then I put <laughs> Sophie and then I put a seam ripper in there and then some just regular pins and then this is a little bit of embroidery floss because um, years ago when I started this book I was doing all these stitches around the quilting parts and I thought it was really fun so and that's why I joined this challenge because I like to do this kind of stuff I'm going to take some of this and just do a like a, a running stitch to quilt this because I did put a little bit of um, cotton batting there it's really a thin cotton batting trying to figure out in my brain why I have that. <laughs> it, I was trying, I well, I did one Christmas made all the kids um, like those bowl cozies. I, I have a couple of them and I use them all the time. <laughs> Maybe because I don't, um, I sit in my chair and eat. <laughs> I don't sit at the table, but I really like them. Let's see if this needle works. See, this is something I need to learn is the needles, like their names and what they're used for. Sophie's like, oh, I see a string. Are you going to sew? <laughs> I want to, I want to help. Sophie, go on, go up there and sit. Yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good spot to sit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, well. So I'm just going to go in and out. Really, if I just started doing the blanket stitch, that would probably hold it all together too. But to make it look like it's on a little bit of quilted fabric, I figure I should do some running stitches. And that I'm just wiggling in and out with this embroidery floss. Oh my goodness, this cat. She's usually not this interested, but lately she kind of has been, hasn't she? Okay. So now when I do this next row, I want to kind of do it like it was woven. So, okay, so here's a stitch. I don't want to do it there. I want to do it 
between these two, but over to the right. I could have put them closer together, but So, I don't know if you can see this, but so like if there's a stitch here next to it, there isn't, but up here there is, so it's kind of going, I'm kind of going like that. And if I would have sewn a little straighter, it would have been a little better, but that's okay. I could get a marking pen out and um, actually put dots in where I want it to go, but I didn't. I don't want to get too close to this because I know I want to do a blanket stitch down there. And I think I'm going to do that with a different color. Okay, so I don't want to be there. I want to be down here. All right, so I'm just going to keep doing this stitch across, and then I'm going to do some um, blanket stitch. So I will show you after all the stitching is done. All right, try to use your imagination now. When I sat down to stitch, I was trying to do circles like Anne did, and she some amazing like shapes and circles and stuff, and I thought that was so fun, but my tags are so tiny and when I did the blanket stitch around the edge my piece got smaller and I wasn't really thinking so it didn't fit on the tag it was going to be too small for the tag now so I did have an extra piece of fabric and that was a good thing because the word birds there and bird nest is there <laughs> because I've decided it's a bird or that I was making a bird and then I put some little longer blanket stitch here. There's blue and black blanket stitch all around here. And there's a little wing right there and he's sitting in his nest. And this is just some of that yarn that's like a bunch of fibers. And I blanket stitched that on there. So I got the prompt done with the blanket stitch. Um, <laughs> he's just kind of funny and I like them. So that's what's important. I hope you're enjoying this video and that you'll check out 52 Tags Handmade. There's a lot of really amazing tags out there. Boy, I wish I would have picked a bigger tag. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.